I just been. <laughs> I just had my finger and screwdriver in here, and we stirred it up a bit, and um, we've got it to drain. It, it, it smells nice and fresh up here. Look at that. You can see the house here has moved. That's why the concrete is not up against the house. And I think. Penetrated here. We're through a block drain. That's right. We're out to see Tony. Tony's got block sewer. I think Tony's unwell at the moment. Um, gastro or, or something like that. So that doesn't help when you've got a block sewer if you can't go to the toilet and flush everything away. Uh, so we'll go out there and have a look. See if we can get this drain off flowing. Apparently, he had problems in the years gone past. That was at the council connection. Uh, they've been out and sorted that. Uh, so he, he doesn't believe it'll be that. But we'll go out there investigate find clear and report back to him what his problems were and try not to get sick myself in the meantime i don't need gastro right up i'll see you when i get there Block sewer, IO from here downstream to councils. They've been out here and done a repair here previously in the years gone past. So I thought I'd pop this cap and just check it. From there down, all clear. Means problem is up that way. Let's fry up this jetter. Nothing's been overflowing from this gully, they said. So we've got a couple of IO points here. I've popped these. It, it, it smells nice and fresh up here. But it's been blocked for a while. Look at that. Look at that. You can see the house here has moved. That's why the concrete is not up against the house. I think a few years ago he said they had the guys out that um, put that resin under the house to lift it back up. What happens in situations that sewer pipes can get cracked in that process. I'm not saying that's a result of that, um, but I have seen in the past where the sewer pipes get cracked and, and all the gravel ends up in, in the main and creates a big blockages. I'm not saying that's a problem here, that's just a bit of what I've noticed as years have gone past. I'm going to squirt some water down here first. Fill it up a little bit, get some water behind me, and then we'll whack on a nozzle. I just want to see if this actually fills up this pipe. This is absolutely putrid, this one. Or well, if enough of this water actually breaks it down to help move it. gurgling away so it slowly started to fill up oh do you mind if i have a gopro and just record yeah. on doing all cool yeah i didn't ask you before yeah you walked off and i thought oh, wait if you come out i'll ask you if you say no i'll turn it off oh. <laughs> you still are so mate because you're at people's homes and you don't know you know yeah so the problem is between here and wherever down there because down the end is all good okay okay give this a quick squirt 
You're operational. You can see we're holding water there now. So let's just drop this jetter down. Could be on it. We're going past that next IO. We're slowly draining. Okay, we've dislodged it. There's some nasty stuff going on here with the movement of that um, concrete. You can see it's dislocated down there. We haven't cleared it properly yet. Let's give it a little bit extra. Pretty much all that water's gone now. But there's a nasty break down here. Exactly what I thought we'd be seeing because of the movement of this concrete. Did you want to flush your toilets, each toilet once, and just quickly turn on that and maybe put some water in that bath if, okay. if that wasn't um, draining properly? And then once you've got a little bit in there, just let me know and we'll just pull it by and make sure we're getting it through. grab this camera, see what we're dealing with. So that's where they did the repair at the front. Yeah. That's broken. That one is 
right on that junction, which will be probably just down near the bathroom. You can see where that is. Yeah. So solids and everything can catch on that stuff. Yes, I'll be doing that. Okay. okay. is nice and smooth then we come to this lip and that's what's probably causing your main blockage see that that's just that would be just down there probably just past that other junction okay so it's just two, two repairs yeah so you and then you've got another one up here so there's two run your laundry tub just and I'll move that paper and crap down. Yep. And then you've got change of direction junction. She sort of comes up forward here. And you have another break here. See that? That one there. Yeah, another loop. Yeah. And then we come up to here and you another one there, right there. That. And this is we'll go back towards your, your toilet area. And you got all that scale build up there. See all that scale build up? See how rough that is? Yeah. All paper and that gets caught on that. And then all and all these where it's all separated. So one of the problems that are having is that there uh bath wasn't draining properly so they pulled off this this is a plumb dinger under here so this screws down with some silicon into a fitting under here which um, locks in there's um, a plastic thing under there in that rubber uh, this isn't a good setup because water if that's not pulled tight water will leak from here to the plumb dinger and under this bath and then rot out the frame. I just been. <laughs> I just had my finger and screwdriver in here, and we stirred it up a bit, and um, we've got it to drain. But there's, yeah, there's an attachment under here which is lost. That could be wedged up under there. Um, I don't know what to do yet. I just want that water out of there. I don't want their water under their bath because it'll cause a big problem. Why isn't that last little bit draining? Just try and look down this floor waste. That is um, another problem. Where is it? There it is. Found it. Found that bit of a hole, I think. I think that could be the hole. Yeah, it dropped straight away. There's a, a, a metal thing that sits under here. That, um, yeah. I don't know where that's gonna be. A heap of sludgy stuff. It'll be hair and sludge. Okay, let's go back and do what we're here to do, which is clear that drain first. And that's the hole I'm talking about. You might not be able to see it. It's right there. Thank you. 
Okay, let's go focus on project number one, block sewer. Yeah, I wouldn't use that, mate. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're just there. Every time we do, like, I found that like if you don't run water through pipes, yeah, because yeah, it's like pipes, so we run water through it sometimes. Yeah, all this stuff yeah. is jammed up in there. The little holes right here. It's oh, a little okay. hole just there. But you need a new um, plumbing, I think, to seal that up and okay. get some, get all that sludgy crap out of there. Okay. Caps are back on. Drains flowing. So they can happily flush now. Few problems, a couple of bad breaks, just from movement. Um, I said next time it blocks, let me know. Yeah, if they want repairs done, we can do a thorough camera afterwards and just put together a price. There's just a fair bit that needs to be investigated as it probably, um, to find out where all the breaks are. So you can try and nail it all in one go. That bathtub just needs a new plumb dinger. They need to find the part that there's a little three prong thing that goes underneath that, that needs to be found. Otherwise it'll just get caught up under there. Another job well done. Happy flushing. Right up. See you on the next one.